Hi everyone, Stefan here. Welcome to game 18 on Leeches Ladders. Uh, on Leeches Ladders, I schedule uh, tournament time format games, and they are way more serious than the games you could get against random opponents online. There's also a Hanging Pawns team you can you can join. Uh, we are, I think, in third place currently. So yeah, join the fight and you can challenge people and get challenged for classical time control games. In this game I faced uh, a low rated opponent. He, he only has a rating of 1500 something. It's provisional though. And I, I, I think his bullet and blitz are around 1800. So I, I don't really uh, know how strong they are. In any case, my opponent played E4 and <laughs> And I misclicked and I played b6. I wanted to play the Karakhan, but you know, what can you do? I played b6. I was on my phone, on the toilet, and I played b6 by accident. In any case, we have the English or the Owens. My opponent plays d4. And it's not like I cannot play this. It's, it's fine. I have some experience with the Owens, but I definitely don't have prep and I don't have... Uh, well, there really isn't theory in this line. So my opponent played bishop d3, which is the best move. I played e6, which is fine. And here he played c4, uh, which allows me to, to play this two different ways. Uh, I, I, at first, I, I was entertaining the idea of f5, but I'm not sure it works because on e5, uh, bishop g2, there's queen h5 check and, and I'm losing. So that much is clear. So I cannot play f5 straight away, or at least after my opponent takes, uh, I, I'd have to recapture. So I played bishop b4 check, and I wanted to castle quickly if I do play f5. And bishop b4 is a good move. Played bishop d2, I have to trade. Uh, whether queen takes or knight takes, I'm not sure. If I had white, I would have taken with the knight to save a tempo defending e4 in light of the incoming f5. My opponent took with the queen and now I, I just played f5. I mean, why not? Now the pawn cannot be taken. There is no queen h5 check and my opponent needs to start defending. So knight c3. And I played knight f6, of course. And my opponent played f3. And now I was just dying to play uh, fe4, which I did play. And on, on f4, I wanted to sacrifice on e4. So first of all, if I if I take with the knight, uh, my opponent takes with the knight, and I don't think I can do anything. So bishop takes was a potential sacrifice. And knight e4 is good for me, because knight e4, knight e4, bishop e4, there is queen h4 check, picking up the piece. But bishop e4 is just losing for me. So takes, takes, and if queen h4, knight f2, and that's, that's about it. I'm just busted. If I castle, there is at least knight f3. Uh, so of course I couldn't do that. I castled. Now the same thing does work. If, if white makes a random move, now I take on e4. Also knight g4 is good. Uh, but my opponent played knight f3, which is, which is correct. d6. Uh, I, I couldn't really find an alternative. Maybe knight h5 for knight f4, but d6 seems okay. Uh, and yeah, now I wasn't sure about knight g5, but knight g5, queen e7 seems okay in any case my opponent castled i played knight bd7 uh, he played rook dg1 and of course i played e5 this is very thematic uh, i'm not sure what what white should do the engine says rook e1 or d5 my opponent played d5 giving away the c5 square and at this point black has a slight edge uh, i think it's obvious why my knight is pretty good and this bishop in my opinion needs to needs to retreat uh, my opponent i think blundered here with b4 uh, well, it's not a game-losing blunder, it's just that now black has a significant edge. Uh, takes, queen takes, and I wanted to play a5 very badly, so so I did. I want to open up lines. O on b5, of course, there is knight d7. Uh, I don't know what else to suggest. On a3, I can trade, so he played b5. And now I wasn't sure about the position after a4. I can see now that the engine doesn't like my move. I played a4 and I'm still slightly better, but it was unnecessary. I was afraid that white was going to play knight a4 or a4. I was more afraid of knight a4. So if I make a normal move, 
the knight a4 and you know I'm, I'm never getting my knight to c5 and my pawn is blockaded so I played a4 just to prevent that still slightly better although a4 was inaccurate knight g5 uh, my opponent made a losing blunder which I unfortunately hadn't noticed uh, I didn't even consider knight takes d5 if I'm gonna be honest uh, because I was just focused on the e6 square and if knight d5 then knight e6 that does, doesn't do anything because I have knight f4 and this was the tough part if I don't see knight f4 then then I'm losing so you know my, my opponent would have to trade uh, so that's why I didn't even consider knight takes d5 it's a nice tactic because of knight f4 this part is easy to see if 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 my queen was on e7 then knight d5 of course is just a winning move because there's no tempo it's winning this way anyway but you have to see knight f4 okay i played bishop c8 which the engine says is a blunder of course because knight d5 won the game rook f1 h6 i think i need to chase the knight away i i was calculating knight e6 and of course knight e6 bishop e6 d6 queen e7 my opponent plays knight d5 and i have to take it and i'm expecting cd I mean, ED gives me a passed pawn. And on CD, I, I was quite happy with this position because um, firstly, I have queen g5 connecting my rooks. And secondly, I may have rook a5 at some point. You know, it seemed okay. Not not better or anything, but okay. Uh, so knight f3, knight, C, uh, knight d7, queen c2, and knight c5. Um, yeah, with this, I was happy. My opponent played knight e1, which is a good move, wants to play knight d3. And now I couldn't decide what to do. I actually had a long thing here. Um, I wanted to play queen g5 check, but then queen d2. I wanted to play knight b3 check, but a b3, queen b3, rook a1, king b2 doesn't really amount to anything. Um, I wanted to play bishop d7 or bishop g4 to connect my rooks, but anyway I move my bishop, I'm gonna have to recapture an f8 with my queen, and my queen's gonna end up uh, outside of the dark squares, meaning uh, unable to check on uh, on g5. So I end up playing a, a very bad move, or a very bad series of moves. So if I take, which is what I did, now I don't have to recapture on f8 with, with my queen so i can go queen g5 or queen h4 and i couldn't decide which move was best at first i thought queen h4 if queen f2 i can take on h2 and then i got scared of that if i go queen g5 then queen d2 then i go queen h4 i don't i don't see a big difference so i i, I just played queen h4 my opponent played queen f2 and i got scared of taking on h2 it seems very scary uh, queen h2 of course you allow checks on both squares so you have to calculate precisely so queen h2 if queen f7 check of course king h7 uh, there is no check here but it seems seemed like there were multiple resources amongst which of course is just queen takes c7 and my entire queen side falls apart now the engine says this is completely winning for black which i, I did not see so i didn't do that Instead, I traded queens, giving white a small edge. And what happened from here was such a long maneuvering game. I think in this position, uh, my opponent, oh, excuse me, white offered the draw here. And I, I, I can understand that white is slightly better. Uh, I mean, what, what scared me the most was trading on d3. So I had already decided that I was going to move my knight back. But once I do, this knight's coming into a6 and targeting c7. So I was fine with losing a4 and c7 potentially. So I knew that I had to drum up some sort of counterplay to compensate for that. Uh, I didn't want to draw this as a training game. If this was a, a tournament game, then, you know, maybe I would have accepted in light of being slightly worse. So I declined, played bishop h5. I want to put pressure on e4, knight d3. Again, I have to move my knight back. I don't, I don't want to trade. h3, I don't understand h3. Maybe my opponent wants to go g4 or prevent bishop g4, but it just came from g4. In fact, h3 is a weakness because it permanently weakens uh, all the squares on the fourth rank for, for white. Bishop g6, king e3. Okay, and here I constantly wanted to go a3 to prevent the knight from moving. 
the, the c3 knight if i go a3 and the c3 knight moves then then okay four of course and if the d3 knight moves the knight c5 pressure on e4 followed by knight a4 trading knights and putting pressure on c4 so i constantly wanted to go a3 but i couldn't find a win if or or, a, or an, an idea to move forward unless white moves the knights so i ended up playing knight f6 and according to the engine a3 was better of course and black should have gone a3 sorry white should have gone a3 but instead white had gone uh, g4 and now i the idea behind knight f6 was to actually get to f4 whether that was a good idea or not well you're gonna see but i wanted my knight on f4 so i played knight h7 the other idea if my opponent allows it uh, then i'm gonna go knight g5 knight f7 knight d8 knight b7 and knight a5 to put pressure on c4 that way because that would force the knight to b2 and after a3 uh, i'd win the, the 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 c4 pawn so that that was the other plan so had my opponent gone h4 i would have played uh, uh i had my opponent gone h4 i would have gone knight f6 with pressure on e4 and since he didn't go h4 he went knight b4 then of course I, I went knight g5 i should have once again gone a3 not losing my pawn because knight a6 is coming next and i have to defend c7 and a4 so i could have gone a3 but the thing is after a3 knight a6 let's say rook c8 my, my pawn falls anyway so you know here oh sorry there's knight g5 now double attack so my opponent would need to be careful but eventually that pawn would would drop anyway or so i thought so I played knight g5 with activity. Of course, if knight a6 now, I just take on h3. So knight h3, rook h2, the best move, and knight f4. Knight a6, uh, threatening the a4 pawn. Now I, I, of course, don't have time for a3. I need to defend my, my pawn. The engine says rook a7, which is just dreadful. I, I'd never consider rook a7. But I see the idea now. Uh, the idea is bishop e8 d7 c8 chase the knight away so that makes way more sense rook c8 is, is too passive my opponent took on a4 played bishop e8 my idea is uh, bishop d7 or h5 um, knight b2 oh yeah excuse me there was uh knight takes c7 in this position which i had seen immediately after afterwards Unfortunately, knight takes c7 is, is just completely winning because the, the pawns are too strong. Knight takes b6. And now I, I can resign uh, because my opponent is going to queen all the pawns. And yeah, I, I, I'm busted. So he didn't see it. Knight b2, bishop d7, uh, queen f3, and now h5. The idea is, of course, if g5, then, then bishop g4 in some cases my opponent took and i took knight h5 and now i was happy because i have a lot of counterplay so i tried to you know get my pieces into the position i tried to threaten rook f3 check so my opponent of course plays rook f2 i need to either move my rook or bring my knight back so i i moved my rook and defended the pawn knight f6 knight f3 bishop h5 my idea is knight g4 king d3 and here the engine wants me to take on f3 but uh, i played knight g4 i didn't want to trade uh rook g2 and rook f8 and then in, in this position it's no longer that easy for white to navigate this if you turn on the engine it's plus two and a half so the engine you know defends perfectly but uh white is going to need to waste some time if they wish to take the pawn on c7 and of course for the moment the knight on f3 is hanging so knight g5 and I played rook f1, tempting white to take on c7. White did take. Rook d1, of course, rook d2 needs to be played. If the king moves away, then I have knight e3. So rook d2, and now rook g1. And the engine says plus 4 after knight a8. White should, should just ignore me. And I thought, if, if knight a8, rook g3, king c2, knight e3 check, uh, king, let's say, c1, knight takes c4, and I'm defending the pawn. Okay, my opponent played king c3, I went knight e3, and this seemed very scary to me. Uh, very, very scary, because c4 is hanging. So my opponent played rook h2, played rook c1 check. Of course, king d2 loses to rook c2. 
or loses loses the exchange maybe white's still better so he played king b2 i took on c4 he played knight g6 and now the the position has gone from plus four to zero i took the pawn on e4 the, the material is equal rook h3 this is a nice trick wants to play knight g5 and uh, dislodge the defender of the of the e3 knight by attacking the rook so i need to either move the knight or the rook so i played knight f5 preventing rook g3 king c3 uh yeah I, I took on h4 here the engine says rook a4 is best which i understand you're threatening the pawn and you're threatening the rook uh so i don't know what, what if king b3 uh oh stupid there is bishop d1 oh i didn't see bishop d1 oh maybe king b2 then okay uh in any case i i, I didn't see rook a4 i took on h4 rook g3 knight f5 rook g5 g6 is forced and my opponent played knight e8 uh blundering this is now winning for black of course the idea is knight f6 check and i actually did spend some time here uh, let me see how long uh, i spent a minute and a half and i didn't know whether i should check first because if i check on e3 then king d2 and my opponent's threatening rook f5 and, and after of course gf5 king e3 but the thing is on rook e3 king d2 i can always play rook e2 and now the bishop's hanging so i can then take the pawn on a2 and you know i'm happy uh, although then knight f6 hangs uh okay I, I, i'm not too sure let's see rook e3 if king d2 then rook e2 king somewhere let's say d3 oh now i have e4 nice yeah i, I didn't see e4 and if the king goes somewhere else now i can do whatever i want now i go king f7 and there is no knight f6 check for king everything um unfortunately for me i blundered back with king f7 and now it's equal my opponent should have taken on f5 straight away uh of course which i did see but on on uh on rook f5 i can take on e8 and now it's not check so i i wasn't really worried about this rook f8 king e7 and you know i'm, I'm gonna lose the b8 pawn but it's it's not the end of the world instead my opponent played another blunder knight c7 and now i lost the game uh, once again the same pattern and the same threat uh of you know knight uh, knight g5 check in this case uh, it's, it's the same idea forking king and rook so my opponent's threatening rook takes h5 and i thought that i could defend very smartly with knight e7 so i i did see <laughs> rook h5 but i mis mis visualized if that's a word that after king d7 my opponent has rook h7 check defending his knight let me elaborate on that so knight e7 of course my opponent takes and i thought well great knight takes d5 check knight takes d5 king takes e6 check knight c7 check king d7 i'm attacking the rook i'm attacking the knight i'm winning the game i'm two pawns up unfortunately rook h7 is winning so my opponent took and and i was of course losing i had to go for this because if i don't i don't even get a pawn so takes takes king takes and now knight e7 if king d7 rook h7 so so i played so i played king king f6 which is stupid i should have gone king f7 uh but then rook d7 in any case it's 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 over and the game ended like this i just played out of inertia so congratulations to my opponent i mean he was slightly better where he, when he offered the draw i just i wanted to play and i i knew that i had to complicate things in order to win uh, otherwise it really would have been a draw so i decided to risk things sack two pawns which worked pretty well i had a winning position in the end but then i blundered so i think it was a very interesting game congratulations to him and i hope to meet him again uh thank you for watching stay tuned for more chess bye bye